Only the cover. What's good guys? I hope you're doing fine. Today is Tuesday of the second week of Ramadan and here is me cluelessly sitting here. I know I did make plans for Ramadan. I'm going to end the best of this year's Ramadan but I did think of what contents to bring on board and so I'm really clueless. I tried to start vlogging early too here yeah, because I felt like the normal suhoor iftar routine is just not enough and so i wanted to do more i'm sure this video is going to be all talks like talks about how the day went a few actions and i'm sure it's going to be more of family It rained today and today we had a very big supper and as muslims we are taught to recite this supplication whenever it rains and it goes like this Allahumma nafian. it can be translated as oh allah make this rain bring blessings or make this rain a beneficial rain It's time for iftar. It's time for us to break the fast. And I'm breaking the fast today with dates. I have three dates here because it's sunnah. You have to take it in odd. It's like in odd numbers. One, three, five, seven, in that order. So today I'm taking three. You're invited. The cravings we have during Ramadan is a different level of cravings we have is on a whole different level like you have lots of things you crave when you are fasting and then when you break that's it you can't even eat the littlest thing that you have served i mean you will eat like of, of course you starve the whole day you have to eat but you can't eat as much as you thought you would because like during the day you felt like hey i'm going to really feel this tummy but when you break the fast it's not even like that anymore what? You want to come say hi? <laughs> Today is a Friday and a holiday. Today is a Friday, Jumu Mubarak and holiday. Happy Easter to my Christian friends. I honestly thought I was going to sleep till about 12 o'clock, but I couldn't. I legit woke up at 7, 7.35. Meanwhile, if I were going to work, I would want to sleep more. But when I woke up at 7, it's not like... I felt sleepy still. I didn't want to sleep again. And I was like, shit. The way I yearned for this day, I can't let it go. So I had to sleep again. And I woke up nice and sick. Ah. I'm really sad about how I slept. Today, I have lots of things. Okay, I have some few things to do in town. But before that, the laundry basket says I'm full. I need to be emptied. And so I'm going to do that. And then we prepare to head out to town. Okay, amigos, <laughs> plans change and I'm going to watch today. I have, I have a seamstress appointment and it's too early. I want to know you guys, is it too early to start sewing your Eid outfits or like start getting your Eid outfits? It's not old. It is like we are almost half, like halfway through. So if like you have things to do with a seamstress, if you have seamstress appointment, if you have any shopping to do, my people, 
you got to do it you got to do it now because time isn't going to be on our side and you don't want seamstress or tailors disappointing you and so i'm doing mine My beautiful birthday. I can't Who else's mom is like mine? She never has anything to buy in town until I tell her I'm going to town. And then she brings a list of things that she knows she wants to buy. Let's do a quick haul. I thrifted this cute little block heels. Not for me though. And I got this for myself. I presume it's a slip pants, but I think it can be worn as a sandal. I got this also for my little sister. I thrifted these raisin rings as well. I got best spread and. Well, you 